you know, after probably a long day out scouting around, out doing a little bit of hunting, it was always a pleasure to get back to the station camp or you, you know, away from camp camp where uh, you're doing some more hunting on a long hunt maybe and there was food ready for you to go. Uh, some situations, you know, such as station camps or where maybe the long hunters have in intermingled with uh, tribes and the such, you know, they would hire some of the squaws to do the cooking and, and clean and maintain and around camp. Uh, other times when they were out on the long hunts, you know, it was not always just men, but for the most part, you know, that was the case. And they would have a, a camp hand that would stay back or two and, uh, you know, do the firewood thing and do the cooking. So when the, the guys come back, they'd have a meal ready. So I figured what we'd do today, uh, do a little bit of cooking. Uh, very typical at the station camp to do that type of stuff indoors as well uh, in the hearth and things of that nature. So uh, we're going to cook up some heart, some uh, salt pork, which was a staple food back in the day, and uh, maybe some cornmeal as well. So uh, stay with us. So obviously we've got the fire going, we've got some uh, salt pork wrapped up in some paper here, as well as a cow heart, that's going to be delicious. I'm going to stick that off to the side for now, away from the heat a little bit. I'm going to start out with the salt pork, it's going to not only give that, you know, heart meat a good flavor to it. It's also going to season my pan up a bit more at the same time. I've got a good seasoning on it now, but uh, the more you know, greasy type foods that you cook in that just makes it all the better. So we're going to start out with some salt pork. in good shape. So, oiled up piece of linen that I keep with my cookware, at least my 18th century stuff. Pull that off the fire. I got a uh, 18th century offices type kit of a folding fork. Fold the knife as well. So we'll use this. I'm just gonna uh, take this salt pork out of here for now. I'll end up throwing it back in after just to warm it back up. 
so I'm not too worried if it's totally cooked all the way. Well, it looks darn close. Smell is good. slices of salt pork over here. I'm going to throw that in there as well. Use it all up there. So cook stuff aside. I'm going to throw this back on for a minute while we cut up our cow heart. So we got our cow heart. I'm going to uh, cut it up into a bit smaller pieces. a little faster at the same time suck up some of that pork fat pork grease guy back off. Take the rest of this pork out. Shouldn't take too long, actually. I'm not going to put it all the way in the heat. Man, that's going to be good. That's good for baby.
they used in the 18th century. Really old. Be careful, it's very dangerous. guys a couple tins in there some chalk cloth going uh, boiler there got some water on the go probably have some tea has what's left for me and the little guy tearing into it already probably not even gonna bother with the cornmeal Still got some. Mm -hmm. When this is all empty, I, I can have more. Alright guys, thanks for joining me for another video for the little guy. I'm gonna get the mutt going in there. <coughs> Definitely a nice hearty meal, no pun intended. Some cow heart, some salt pork. Good protein right there, good fat. Real good for you. Cup of tea. Good stuff. Had I made the cornmeal, <clears throat> that would have been a real good meal. Stick to your ribs, you know, right at night. So, uh, again, thank you guys for dragging us out too much. I appreciate your views, comments, and support as always. And uh, I'm gonna get back to my chocolate. Until the next one, take care.